Alright, so we got Dying Light the Beast. Announcing trailers, we got two video. Let's go, man. The tracks lead this way. Turn it up a little bit. It's close. Uh oh. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Stay here. Stand guard. Man. Hey, hey, he breathing the same way you would breathe after, like, you would do some type of physical activity and drink it from, like, a cup. <laughs> oh, he's done. Hell. Dang, ketchup everywhere. GG's. It's done. Contact. Get over here! Uh oh. Bro, they shooting at nowhere. Every man has an animal within. If you push too much, you might unleash the beast. Look at this menace. Man is running the walls like it's Black Ops 3. Ooh. Well, this actually doesn't look bad. What? Oh my goodness. So, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, bro, oh my. Hold up. First of all, I'm guessing this is the guy right here. Bro, I haven't, like, seen, like, a Dying Light game in such a long time. It was crazy. I'm guessing this is, like, this is the guy right here. Brother, I'm going to keep an eye with you, bro. This, listen, maybe I'm, like, a, maybe I'm, like, a beginner or, like, a part-timer or whatever, brother. But, I'm gonna, listen, I'm going to keep an eye with you. This whole intro right here was hard. This intro was hard. This man was just hunting people down. Everything, like for, bro. First, this looks really good. I don't know. I, when, wait a minute. How come I went this long without even playing like a dying light game? This is crazy. Like I haven't like played a dying light game since like since like the Great Depression. It was crazy. So, um, other than that, man, listen. There's so many trailers. First of all, bro. Shout out to Jeff Keighley, bro, for for hosting another GamesCon event, bro. Um, I'm gonna get to the you know to the whole dying light trailer in a little bit. But I just want to say, man, shout out to Jeff Keighley, man. Uh, Matt, bro, 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 Let's all give a hand up to him, man, because in reality, bro, this man could just go sit down bro, at the Bahamas and just never do this again. But, man, to this day, he still, you know, connect with brands and, you know, still put these events together. So at the end of the day, man, I want to give off my thanks to Jeff Keighley because, you know, without him, bro, we wouldn't really be having like a lot of these events. So, man, shout out to Jeff Keighley for that. Obviously, I know there's more people with it as well, but, you know, he's definitely one of the faces of, you know, Bringing the gaming community together, you know, with the game awards and the summer's game fest, something like that. Uh, and again, I know it's not just him. I understand, but uh, I just want to give off just just a big, you know, round of applause to him, man. Because without him, we wouldn't be having these a lot of things. We would just be having like a regular day with just trailers coming out. And why? And why would you like? Why would we like want to have that? We could just have like a guy, uh, and like you know, some people put together a big like venue and just like showcase and stuff like that. Um, and I just wanted to always say that. I don't know why I never, I don't know like why I say that, like, I don't know why I said that now, but like, shout out to Jeff Keighley, man. But listen, this down like game now graphically looks really nice. I'll admit that obviously a lot of the games like nowadays, I'm not surprised. Like I wouldn't say that I'm not surprised, but like, bro, like, like the bar is definitely set high whenever it comes to graphics, you know, especially in 2024, uh, a lot of games do look good. You know, obviously we got Unreal Engine 5. Um, uh, and I think just, I think that's just like, I wouldn't say that's the bare minimum because, there could be some games that don't look really like, you know, graphic, like uh, appeasing or whatever, but the gameplay can still be fire, you know, going back to like the old school games that we always used to play. Um, so, you know, graphics isn't everything. Let me just tell you that because you know, there's a lot of games that look really good, you know, that we, you know, that we play for a day and then that we don't go to. You know, there's a lot of games that we spend our money on that look good. But then gameplay wise, uh, it's nowhere to be found. Now, listen, I'm not calling out no gaming company or whatever. 
you guys can just use your noodle and, and, and just and just think about what uh, just think okay just think about there's some game companies out there that just that just adds you know they just add just some sweat you know to the character and all of a sudden it's just these graphics are just out of control you know so you know i don't want to say anything you know like you know who because who am i to judge I'm, I'm just the guy that's that's been playing that same game for years in year after year after year after year and i'm not talking about call of duty i'm not talking about that game at all i'm not I'm talking about another company that drops every year. Yeah. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Yeah. But I'm not look, I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing. I'm not I'm not speaking I'm not bringing up no game or whatever. Like I said, it's not Call of Duty. I promise you. On my heart, it's not Call of Duty. I know a lot of people thought, "Oh, he's talking about Call of Duty." Mm -mm, no. I promise I'm not talking about Call of Duty. I'm actually excited for Call of Duty. I'm excited for Call of Duty. But there's a certain game that, you know, whenever they come out every single year, I don't get excited anymore. I used to get excited. You know, I used to love this game. You know, uh, bro, I, uh, bro, my favorite YouTubers used to play this game all the time. Now it's just non-existent. Now you would have to go to the depths of YouTube, you know, to find people still playing this game. This game is just out of the loop, you know. And if you still play this game as a content creator, I, I do feel bad for you. Because the lack of content on that game is, is horrendous. But again... What am I to say? You know, I'm just a guy that, you know, just grew up playing video games. <laughs> but listen, on a dying light, man, uh, one thing that I will say about dying light is, bro, the, bro, the, this whole beast thing or whatever, I'm going to just keep being honest with you. It does seem like a lot of fun. I don't know why, but like this whole beast thing kind of remind. And bro, do not let me get started on like the whole gunplay and stuff like that. This whole gunplay was like real nice, bro. I saw like a little Call of Duty from this. I, now listen, I don't want to compare it or whatever, but the gunplay in this... I'm, I'm definitely impressed. So I wonder if we're actually going to be able to play as like the beast or whatever. Maybe that's like a superpower that we just have or whatever. But like looking at like the gunplay and stuff like that, bro, it looks like we don't even need the beast. But most likely, when, you know, whenever you, we go against things like this, we most likely will need the beast. Uh, and I wonder like if we're able to use the beast against this. Like, And the thing is like, the, the reason I say that we get to use the beast because I don't think that we just, like, I don't think that we just jump in the game. And we just like the beast. I don't think that we just like, like obviously we can like run on walls and do all that. I, that I can see that as like a like moving mechanic, whatever in the game. But to be honest with you, like I see like the whole beast thing as like a superpower, not really like a like a just off the bat like Bruce Banner type of thing or like you know as soon as I get angry I can use it or I can spam it whatever. I see that as like a power. I don't really see that as like a um as like a uh, as like a main like as like a main factor in the game even though like it is the title of the game it might not even be used as a main factor it might be it might be it might become usable when you're supposed to use it that's the thing or it could just be usable. I, bro i could be wrong right now i'm just going off of what i think right now so comment down below man what do you guys think about dying light the beast make sure you guys like the video subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoy so you guys gotta fix them out and